you grew up in? Are you from Dago? Yo, I grew up right here in East Dago. Mm. I didn't lose my virginity until I was like in ninth grade, bro. In ninth grade? Ninth grade, bro. For and, sure. And I don't know if you want to touch it, but what's that in your <laughs> life? What was that like? So I teach my daughter that now. Like I tell her, like, you know, go to school, don't trip. It's only going to, you know, there's going to be bullies all the time. There's going to be people talking, but it's only going to last. It's up to you how long you wanted it to last. You get me? Right. I want to get my license and everything, right? Yeah. But I got to do it legit, so I got to get extended pedals and everything. Yeah. And I, my purpose is to wake up every fucking morning, be here for my kids, and reach my motherfucking purpose. You feel me? Welcome to another episode of the Big Umbrella Podcast. That's big with two G's. I'm going to repeat that. That's big with two G's, the Big Umbrella Podcast. I just want to welcome on Lil Fuchu who get all the coochie. <laughs> what's good? Yes, what's good, I'm my man? i repeat that. That's Lil Fuchu who get all, all the, the coochie. coochie. You heard it? There we you go. <laughs> yes, indeed. I always like to welcome on our guests and you know, definitely doing it for Dago. Hell so yeah. I appreciate you coming yeah, I appreciate you for bringing me. Oh, of course, man. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. definitely. Yes, what sir. part of Dago you grew up in? Are you Back, from Dago? Yo, I grew up right here in East Dago. Mm. Oh, and what's that like growing for you out here in East Dago? Shit. It's, it's, my, it's my spot. Out here, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Everything so good. And this is you growing up here in East Dago. So like, um, where'd you even go to high school? Like even starting from that high school? I went to Crawford. Okay. Yeah, down there on 54. Uh huh. Yeah, I went there and I went to Roosevelt Middle School. And what was that like, even you being in Crawford? It was chilling, bro. We were mm -hmm. badass kids, though, you know? Badass kids. Hell yeah, I was never in school. And with you even growing up, what was that like? Did you get picked on? And I, I know she had to be a lot more difficult for you growing up as opposed to anybody else. Nah, see, high school, I was straight. Uh -huh. Middle school, I was straight too. It was yeah. more like elementary, you know? Like, uh -huh. boom, boom. Little kids, you know, See, hey, and, and that would be crazy because I, I wouldn't think the elementary part would be crazy. I think that it'd be more so in yeah, high yeah, school yeah, that's nah, gonna nah. do that. I mean, I had I had like I had trouble sixth grade, mm -hmm. but it wasn't really like it wasn't nothing major, you know. It was yeah. just like you know that one little that one bully for yeah. me. Every morning he'll try to like kind of like push me from the back and shit. Then we had to get down. And that was in. And, and that, that was, was it. In, uh, and that's when I started getting. Elementary. That's when Fuchi started getting the coochie. Uh -huh. You feel me? They saw me get down, and they were like, "Hell yeah." So you was having to really fight niggas in sixth grade. Well, just one, just one. Oh, okay. Sixth grade. Uh huh. Yeah, the, he would always try to pick on me. Uh huh. So I, if you want to wrestle with me, you know what's up. I got, uh -huh. the, I got down in front of the uh, girls' bathroom. So that, so that, that that's like six at seven in the morning after we got off the school bus. You remember that shit like a motherfucker. Hell yeah, because that shit made me. Uh huh. You know, since then nobody fucked with me, nobody bullied me. They showed me love, mm -hmm. and that was it. Yep. So even as far as like you said, the sixth grade for you that like they was kind of doing a bully. Yeah. I even want to go back before they. Did you grow up with siblings? Yeah. No, nah, well, my my mom and my dad. Uh huh. So you just yeah. got your mom. That's yeah. me. I'm the only I child. Have, as well. I have two sisters, but they were they, they didn't live here. Okay. Yeah. And hey, you are you close with your siblings? Uh, now I am with one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we good. One of my sisters and shit. And now she see what you're doing out here. Like how she feeling about how you moving out here and stuff. And she wants me to do good and keep going. Mm hmm. And she got me. And as far as your other sister, how come you don't got that relationship with her? Cause she don't live here, so we don't really have that. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? We okay. Where really she stay at? Uh, she lives in Mexico. Okay. You moved yeah. back and forth, go to Mexico? Nah, I haven't been to Mexico since I was 10. And why is that? I don't know. Oh, you, you, you just don't be going <laughs> just, out there like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So like you were saying, after sixth grade, you know, that's when they kind of start noticing what you were about and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, Sixth grade. You now entering seventh grade. Even as far as you commuting, walking to school and shit. Did, how, you walking to school, even a, a walk. You getting ready in the morning. Describe that. Oh shit, we fucking get ready, walk out the pad, go to the school bus. First fucking day of school, you know, I'm all nervous. I'm like, damn, big ass kids. They had ninth graders in that shit. Too. Right. It was junior high back then. Yeah. So I was kind of like trippy for me. I was like, man, I didn't know what to expect. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then uh, like the first week, everything was good. And then like maybe like like the second month, that's when that little bully guy, you know, like mm. every morning and shit. But everything was good in the morning. I mean, everything was good. Yeah. Yeah. And then you growing up, as far as you know, with the female, when was that introduced to you? Fuck. Like you man. actually bagging your first female? Man, I I don't know. I always had that. I don't. Uh, shit. Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Yeah, sixth grade after that little fight. You know. And that's I, when you was having sex. Oh, not all sex. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I didn't yeah. catch that. My bad. Yeah, you're gonna have to crop that part out. But nah, yeah, no, nah, nah, good. Sex, nah, se yeah, that sex part, dude. Uh, uh fuck. I I didn't lose my virginity until I was like in ninth grade, bro. In ninth grade. Ninth grade, bro. For and, sure. And I don't know if you want to touch it, but what's that even <laughs> like? What was that like for you? Fuck. Every, well, everything was normal. How big I lost was, it in my in my sister's closet. 
You was, you was having sex in your sister's closet. Yeah. And how big was a female as opposed to you? Oh, she wasn't that tall. I mean, for me, it's tall. But you know, right. You guys, all of, all she's of them like five and shit. Right. Know? Five feet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was good. I, I, I got it. Just like that. It's <laughs> in, in the closet. You know, in my sister's closet. Shit. <laughs> and would you even approach a female? Did that feel like, like obviously, like somebody got to up on you or you always had confidence in yourself when you come and approach females? Uh, should I just be mean, you know? Mm-hmm. Just go with it. Hey, what's up? Damn. Mm-hmm. What established you to start feeling like this is who I am instead of hiding anything like that? Ah, fuck. See, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. You gonna know, explain? Just, it. You gonna explain it to the best of your ability? See, I, I, I guess you know what the people I was like, what with the people I grew up with, the, the household, like everything, like it just it, it gave it, it boosted my it boosted me up. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I think that helped me out a lot. Like hanging out with the people I hang out with. It made me feel like I, I I'm no different. I'm you know I got this shit. Mm-hmm. And that was it. I don't so know. so like your your close circle actually boosted you up the field the way you be feeling. Yeah, now. cause you know I was like I said we were badass little kids and I was just out there riding my scooter at a young age and always with bigger kids. You know, mm-hmm. just hang out with everybody. You say you hang out with everybody. With everybody, I hang out with everybody. You know, it was cool too. Like I was able to fit in with like every like different crowds. Like like I, I could fit in with like the nerds. I could fit in with like church kids. I could fit in with like, cause I always like my mom taught me that shit to be like, you know, like be be, be you always, you know, don't let mm-hmm. you know. So I, I think that's what's cool about me too, and that's what kind of like keeps me going, you know, out here. You got that solid relationship with your mom. Yes, sir. And wh- how do you feel that like she that y'all y'all became that close? Single or well, single mom? That's me, cause I'm not. I, I cause I know my own story. I yeah. me have my own mom. Cause that's all you got single around. Mom. I met my dad at yeah. a way later age. Yeah, that's, I'm a mama's boy. Mm-hmm. That's me, one hundred percent. Yes, sir. And what is she establishing you now that you kind of? Cause you got you got two kids. Yeah, I got two kids. I got a and, daughter and a boy. And what she is establishing you that you kind of now push forward with your kids? Shit, fuck. A lot, mm-hmm. everything. I I picked up on her like how she see my daughter's little like me too, mm-hmm. and then like my mom always like I said my mom always kind of like pushed me not to give a fuck what people say mm-hmm. or shit like that like but don't be a dick either you know right like don't put your head down or don't don't be like fuck you why, yeah. why are you laughing at me you know just always way back so I teach my daughter that now like I tell her like you know go to school don't trip it's only gonna you know there's gonna be bullies all the time there's gonna be people talking but it's only gonna last. It's up to you how long you wanted it last. You get me? Right. So I teach her the same shit. Like, you know, just say hi, be friendly. Don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's crazy because she comes home too and she'll be like, Dad, oh, I got a lot of friends or they got my bag. Yeah. At least I'm like, yeah, but you, you know, like humble yourself too. You know, like, don't, 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 don't be too, too cocky about it. Yeah. Know? Like, Cause that, you know, you want to make it out here far and shit like that. Definitely. Definitely. You know, respect. You know? And, and that's something that I was, I mean, that made me think right now, before you even was going to have a, uh, you didn't know it was gonna be a boy or girl. Were you worried that she was gonna be smaller? Uh, nah, cause you know, uh, growing up, you know that's that's you, it's, it's right there. You know, like oh, I could have a 50-50. I could have an average size kid, or I could have a new person. Right. So you you just you know that's that, that's one thing though. Like you know, I had to talk to like my baby mama and shit. Like you know, like hey, are you ready? Right. You know, cause this could happen. You know, we could have a little one, or we could have a big one. Right. It's, you're gonna have a lot of shit on your plate. You feel me? Right. So yeah, she was like, I'm with it. All right, cool. Yeah, and then you said your second, he he not smaller. Nah, he's not small. He's he's, he's average. And how old is he? He's about to turn eight next month. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Man, that's an accomplishment to even <laughs> to be able to raise to at two. That's what's like right here to me already. And just I mean, you know, <laughs> hey, but you know, you, I'm sure you establish. I don't give a damn how tall you get. Yeah. You gonna respect me? I'm your dad. Type yeah, of yeah. Shit. And you know what? You know what? Like I I have I have some good ass kids too. Like my 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 son is really respectful. You know he. he He's not like them other, you know, like, I'll be like, hey, uh, help your sister out. Or like, hey, can you get this for me? Or sometimes I, you know, I got my ways. I could reach you, right. you know, but yeah. I want to, I want to fuck with him. You know, like, I'm like, I'm going to see if he got me. Yeah. Like, hey, he'll be like, oh, dad, I'm watching my shit. I'm like, okay. He'll be like, oh, I got you. And he, he does his thing and shit. Yeah. And it feels good, you know, like. he he would help my dad. He, like, yeah, it feels good, you know. And then, like, his grandpa always messes with him. He'll be like, man, when you, when you grow up and you guys go to a concert together, you about to put him on your shoulders. You about to put your dad on your shoulders. Uh-huh. You feel me? And it, it, he, he he takes it like he takes it right. Like I, I love my son. You know, yeah. That who's with it. Definitely. How you adapt to the jokes to, and to a point where it was no. I mean, you could take the joke well, and it was no longer like these motherfuckers talking shit to me. Well, like the crowd that I hang out with, you know, we're all we're, we're, we're really close and we just clown on each other at the time. We make jokes and we just 
you let it be, you know, have fun. Have yeah, fun, th- them is, I'm sure them are your people who do them jokes and you know it's not, they like, you know they, they, yeah. you're they, talking they, about like, like, are, do you mean like outside? Like, yeah, like, oh, the midget or something yeah, like that? Yeah, shit like that. How, how did you get to the point where that wasn't affecting you no more? Because your homies, you know, they're going to fuck with you and you know it's a joke. Well, fuck, dude, I don't, I don't, I can't answer. Or that have you got to that point yet? I have, but I mean, it never really like, but it never really bothered me, mm-hmm. honestly, you know, like it never like, so what the fuck, what mm-hmm. do you want me to do? Like, want me to be like, hey, shut up or don't call right. me that. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, like I, I don't know. That's, that's why I was That's asking. for life. You know that? This is for life. I'm going yeah. to hear that shit for life. You yeah. feel me? So it's like, why, why am I going to trip on one motherfucker or one, one bitch or one something? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when tomorrow it could happen again. You feel me? Exactly. Like. Like it's just, I just let it be. So it's really like you just never, you got to a point where it, it could be a dick. Like if it's a dick though, mm-hmm. like he's like, oh, you, you know, major, like trying yeah. to push me or like, or or you know what I mean, yeah. like like that all out shit. Then nah, then I gotta be like, hey, come on, dog, yeah. like, chill. You know what I mean? Like, Real talk. But other than that, it's like, I don't give a fuck. When it comes to driving. Oh I, no! And, 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 all shit, and I'm asking you this shit because this is shit that I, I would really wonder myself. Because yes, I mean, sir. that's real shit. Like when it comes to driving, are you able to drive? Bro? Oh man! All right, no, right, everybody. See, we were just, we just had a. I was talking to my boy yesterday because I'm so uh, right now. I'm, I'm not mobile right now, but I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to getting another car and shit. But I want to get my license and everything, right? Yeah. But I gotta do it legit, so I gotta get extended pedals and everything. Yeah. And I've never drove it with extended pedals my whole life. Like yeah. all, the, all the times I drove when I had my car, it was just tiptoe gang. Yeah. You know, thug it out, bam. You know, I don't even get yeah. to see. I don't know, just boom. You know like I mean? that. Hell yeah! I learned that at a young age too, because you know, like some, you know, I had my older bros or whatever. You know, we'll go out and they're too drunk or something. You know. Yeah. And I'm like, well, fuck, I ain't staying here. You know, like we gotta go. Exactly. You know? And there's no time to fucking fix the seat. Just fucking sit on the edge, tiptoe. Turn that shit on. We out. And get, you and how, I mean? like, how you how you seeing <laughs> over the motherfucker? I could see. I'll be like this. this. I don't want to fuck up. Now nah, you straight. Like, 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 and you can see that bitch over over the, over the I joint. See this here. I don't really use this one. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Or like, uh, let's say like I'll be on the freeway too with the homie sometimes, and I'll be like. Like, I can't, I can't reach that fucking bitch. I'll just be like, hey, am I good to go? I'm not even looking. I'm just like, am I good to go? Just tell them I'm good. And you're in the game. Oh, yeah. Just fuck it. But now, like you're saying, you have to, you're trying to get your shit legit. Yeah, I'm trying so to do everything for you to legit, get it legit. I you get have pedals. to have the pedals and shit. Yeah, pedals, fucking, probably a little fucking boost, a little fucking, you know, mm-hmm. fucking pillow or something. To have you go up. Yeah. So you can see a little and in order shit. to get my license too. If not, they're going to be like, man, this guy's tiptoeing. That's a, that's, that's, that's a threat to society. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so with that, you're going to have to, this is obvious, you got to go to DMV and yeah. you got to have all that shit all that beforehand. Shit. Yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, that's why I haven't got a, a, a another another whip. Cause yeah, cause like I, I want to do everything good, and I, I don't I don't want to just get a whip and then you know uh, go out and drive somewhere, or go down to down the street to the store and get pulled over and lose my my, my shit. You know, what I, I mean? was just about to ask, have you ever been pulled over in your car? Uh, when I first got my first car, yeah. And what was that like? Uh, I think they, they tripped treat- out a little bit. I was about to say, like, was, was <laughs> they tripping on you? Was they treating you any different? Anything? Nah, like nah, that? nah. They, everything was good. You know, like uh, I, I guess my tip, my, my I had. My, my my shit was limo tent. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, so that shit was black. Yeah, black. yeah. And uh, I I had stopped by to drop somebody off, and we we just kept going. And I was like, oh shit! I seen the car. I'm over here like tiptoeing, you know? Yeah. Like, damn. I'm like, damn. So I made a right. Boom. Everything good. Pull me up. Turn on the light. Put the lights on me. I said, fuck it. Pull over. Pull the window down. They got close to me, and he looks at me. He's like, oh shit! <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, oh, oh cool. Okay. Yeah, well, hey, that's hey, what it you know, is. Just just. Just went along with it and you know got my shit. They took my shit away. Mm. Yeah. They took your car. Yeah. They that took night. Away. Yeah, that night. I had to fucking get that shit out. Yeah. Yeah. They took that because my, my dumb ass like, you know how I guess when you get pulled over you gotta kind of like park on the, on the yeah. Sidewalk. My dumb ass stayed on the street. Oh okay. So now they're being dicks. You know like oh you guys had an open container. Uh, oh, we could get shit. you for this and that, you know, like open container and, and, and you know, you, you, you're drinking too, whatever. So I was like, fuck it, take the car. Yeah. Cause like, like you said, instead they could get you for all that yeah, shit. Yeah. And then it's like, 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 see, like I'm trying to do it legit now. So like that shit would have been still right On your there. record. You, you feel me? Yeah. And then I want to, I want to do everything legit. So in the end, that was a smart ass play. Yeah. I mean, fuck, my pockets hurt a little bit, but. Oh, hey, money, money <laughs> going to come back though. <laughs> yeah, sir. Gonna, even now talk about money. What was your first job? Oh, oh fuck. If you remember that. Uh, well, what the fam landscaping shit like mm. that little basic shit you know pick yeah. up the branches the bushes sweep that shit you know so have you worked in like a corporate type of shit nah nah it's like a little family business to, no to this day 
Oh, nah, I haven't done no. So what you do now? I just fucking the promos. <laughs> oh, hey, no, that's fucking. Dope. If, if you get money off a of fucking promo, that's fuck. That's where a motherfucker wanna be. Yes, sir. <laughs> How do you even get to that point where you getting money off a of promo? Doing shit like this. God damn. Just keep going. And how long that even take you? Like, when when was your first type of promotion type of deal to the, to the point where you was like, I don't have to work no more? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, I done skip pseudo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that promo was like, uh, here and there. But the but skits. The skits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's through YouTube? Yeah, with other different people. See, so, and that's more so what I'm asking you this shit because that's something that I'm trying to get into. So yeah. from, from that, how long did that, did you got to get like millions of views on shit or how does that take until it's monetized? From skits. Shit, my shit hit uh, 3.5 and then they hit me up. Oh, God damn. Yeah. What was that even video on? On Instagram. No, like what was the skit about? Oh, it wasn't nothing. It was nothing. I was just fucking grilling. Real shit? Yeah. And that shit went 3.5 just you yeah. grilling? God damn. Yeah. Bumping little weirdo in the background. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now with you being out here in Dago, you tapped in with the with the music scene out here in Dago? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know a lot of them. Uh-huh. I fuck with them. And what's the music scene for you like out here? I fuck with it. You say you you fuck with the music yeah, scene I fuck out with here? It. Hell yeah. Who's one? Who's some of I guess your favorite? Oh man, everybody's my favorite. Everybody your favorite. Dago's artist? my favorite. You feel me? You say Dago. If you stand there when you're doing your thing, you're my favorite. Hey, well shit, y'all you heard me, it. You're y'all. my favorite too. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> So how the hell, now you ain't got no cup, but how you about to be sipping this goddamn bottle? Fuck, I don't even know, bro. We're going to make it happen, though. You want to holler at somebody to go get a cup or something? There's no cup. So, nah. I don't know. You could, you could go check in with them and see if you get some. Nah, we're good. We're good. You sure? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess you sipping out the bottle then. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, let them know what you, what you sipping on. Uh, say they ain't paying me, so I got, I'm not sure. He's like, hey, <laughs> no, fuck it. He's like, they ain't paying me. You know? Hey, yeah, fuck it. It's yeah. nothing. It's nothing like that. So with, what you doing... Now, like you on the into social media and shit. What's the end goal for you? I just want to keep doing like skits, you know, like comedy shit like that. Mm. That's what I want to get into. And then just you never know, just fucking blow the fuck up and end up in fucking on on a movie. Or, 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 do you ever want to do comedy or act or anything like that? More like acting, mm. not like not like stand up stand up comedy. Nothing, mm. you know? Just like little skits, you know, pop out, you know, take advantage of my life. Mm. You know what I mean? And what you wanted to do with that type of deal, what, when you was first even growing up, what was it that you really wanted to do anyway? Oh, shit. Fuck. Um, I wanted to do ratchet things with my friends. Honestly. <laughs> 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 I wanted to do that shit with my homies. <laughs> nah. Um, fuck, dude. Uh, I was really into art. Mm-hmm. Drawing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like graffiti, litter, shit like that. Yeah. And then you, I, you don't do that no more? Uh, nah, I still got it though. Mm-hmm. Shit, give me a, you know what I mean? Exactly. I'll make it happen, but yeah. That, that was more like, you know, like middle school, high school, shit mm-hmm. like that. And I was really into like science and shit too. And I was Word. Like, yeah. And what, <laughs> with you like being into science and that type of shit, what, well, how come you not into that no more? Or are you? High school fucked me up. Like, first, <laughs> how? I took that route, you know, ditching, uh-huh. bitches, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And just party. Everything. You know? Looking back, do you wish that you took another route now? Fuck yeah. I tell, the, I tell my little bros all the time that, like, you know, we have a little homie, my nigga Scrappy, shout out. Uh, uh, we tell them all the time, you know, like, hey, go back to school. Who, you know, mm-hmm. like, man, you know, if, if, if I was to go back in time with the mentality I have now, like, man, I would have been doing big things. You mm-hmm. feel me? I would have made it happen, you know? Was you ever into making music? Nah, I'd be freestyling with my boys, old Richie knows. Uh-huh. We'd be freestyling, <laughs> you know, drunk ass fuck, yeah. you know? I might get drunk right now, but it's a freestyle. Hey, that's what I'm fucking hoping for. Let me get a goddamn freestyle on this bitch. That'll be goddamn <laughs> hilarious. Nah, then I'm gonna take everybody out, bro. After I even just saw you take the <laughs> shot, are you a big drinker? Do it take more or it take less for you to get faded? Damn, I don't know. Uh, you gotta ask uh, uh, Romo. What? How much I be drinking, bro? Like a fish, bro. Damn. So, so it, 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 don't, it, don't, it don't matter how much he do. He, he could go and he hanging with the with the motherfuckers, big dog type shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, shit. Hey, that's that's why all these that's what I'm saying. All these questions for me are these is low key shit that I be wondering, like, cause I, I ain't. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I wasn't I'm, gonna I'm, count I'm slowing you. my shit down though, for real. You said what? I want to slow my shit down though. That's that's another thing that like like stops me from doing a lot of things. You know, like mm-hmm. if you're asking me like 
what, what, what would I do? What would I, you know, shit like that. You want to yeah. stop drinking a little bit, like that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to no AA classes though. Yeah. <laughs> you get, if you if any with, with your size and everything, is any type of health thing that you got to go through that others wouldn't. Fuck, nah, like shit. Thank God, nah, nah, nah. Just surgeries, but. And you be saying on your workout shit, huh? I seen you on your video. You oh, had to chill here and shit, there, you know, you little cardio and shit. Here and there, you know. Uh huh. I did. Uh, yesterday we were chilling. Um, uh, I was with some dude. Uh, uh, fuck, I don't know how to say his name, but uh, shout out to him too. Uh, if e- Efren, Efren, whatever. Uh, we were shooting some shit yesterday. And we went to the gym. That motherfucker had me doing fucking all kinds of shit. And I'm like, I'm all hungover too, dog. I'm yeah. Like, ugh, ugh. But they be tripping now. Huh? I, 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 could, I could. Shit, I'll catch up. Exactly. You know. You're like, don't count me out. Yeah, I'll catch up, bro. I, uh, the most I've worked out for was like straight two months. I was like, oh, I'm going to take the weekend off. Fuck that. I'm sore. I couldn't even wipe my own ass. You feel me? <laughs> He's like, I'm sore <laughs> as fuck, bro. I couldn't. Uh, you know what I mean? But I was like, man, all right, I'm going to take the weekend off. Chill. Fuck no. A week can turn into years or months. And you're you know, like, that. Yeah, you ain't look back now. Yeah, I'm, I'm straight. I'll fuck around here and there, you know? Yeah. But just to pump up. Do people recognize you out here in San Diego or oh, yeah. even out of San Diego? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. That's pretty cool. What, I was about to say, what's that like? <laughs> That's pretty chill, bro. It's like it's 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 cool. Like, um, shit, I be in downtown a lot. I go out to the store. I be with my family, be with my kids, and you know, people catch me out there and like, oh, what's up, bro? Hey, we fuck with you. Keep doing your thing, man. Mm. We feel like you don't get enough credit, but you know what I mean. Keep doing your shit. Mm. I'm like, oh yeah, we fuck with you. And I'll be going to the randomest places too. And I'm, and then they they, they recognize me. They're like, can we get a picture? Hey, we fuck with you. I'm like, hell yeah, that's tight. Go to LA. Hey, little Fuji. No oh, shit, fuck! I went to Vegas, dog, and they fucking some dude followed me to the bathroom. I thought I was gonna get my ass beat. <laughs> some dude followed me. He's like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, are you little Fuji?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And then he's like, "Fuck yeah!" Like two people recognized me out there in Vegas, and I was like, "God damn, that's tight." Hell, and that's you know? like you leaving your city, and motherfucker. So yeah, that's pretty cool because it's like it's, it's like all good energy too, you know. Mm-hmm. And I fuck with that tough. It's not no like, oh, we know him because you know he fucked my bitch or mm. uh, the homies don't like his homies, you know. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's that good energy. Have you now. ran into that situation where it was like we know you because he fucked my bitch? Oh man, when I was younger, bro, high school uh-huh. I had I had MySpace days, bro. Fuck. Ooh, I remember the MySpace. You had the top five in the man. whole little joint. Hey, if you put that bitch on your top five, top ten, <laughs> you, you you smashing. You feel me? Hell he yeah. brought back the MySpace. Yeah, that had trouble back back then for mm. sure. They were like hate on me. They'd be like fuck you. I mean, not like to like not to extend where like oh, I'm gonna fuck you up. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm gonna beat your ass. But it was kind of like, we don't like him. Fuck that guy, mm. you know? Or like, they would just talk behind my back to other people like, fuck him, fuck him. Or like mm. that. But that was it. That's it. Was sports ever even in the cards for you? Oh, shit. Sports, um, I used to play soccer in elementary. Mm. Like from like first grade to like third grade. I used to fuck with it. I wanted to be a soccer player. But then when I started seeing all the kids bigger than me and they're fucking <laughs> kicking, I'm like, that's my face. <laughs> I'm like, fuck no. That's my face. Like... Hey, you know, motherfuckers getting hit on the chest or on the fucking knees and shit with the ball. I'm like, no, nope, I'm out. That ain't for me. Yeah, that ain't for me. Fuck that. I ain't, uh, that's my face. You you was talking about like how how you be stepping on like random spots. What's that? What's them strip club nights like for you? I seen a couple of them videos. You be having the strippers and this motherfucker taking their shirt off. You know, oh no, nah, that wasn't stage. even the strip club. That was at Mister Temple. Yeah, I was pretty drunk and shit. Uh-huh. You know, it's their fault though. They got me drunk. <laughs> Nah, uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't remember, bro. To mm. be honest with you, I don't, I don't fucking remember till they sent me that video. Uh-huh. I was like, damn, that's embarrassing. <laughs> no, I really did that. They're yeah. like, yeah, fool, they escorted you out like three times. I'm like, for real? <laughs> like, damn. He said escorted you out like three times. Yeah. But yeah, that, that shit was bad damn. Mm. Yeah, too much Don Julio. With, with you, with you even being your size and then getting tattoos on your, what made you get tattoos on your face? Romo. Nah, I'm just playing. Mm. Uh, fucking... Shit, I don't know. Cause I'm sure people are already looking at you different. Now you got tattoos on your face and everything like that. Yeah, but it's my mom's and my daughter's name. You feel me? Mm-hmm. See, I started with my daughter's name. Like I asked, honestly, I, I told I told my daughter, told her, hey, I, I'm, I'm gonna get your name. Where do you want me to get it? Mm-hmm. She's like, here, Dad. I'm, I'm on your face, on your on your cheek. How old was she when you was asking her? Like five. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's ten now. Yeah. Yeah. My boy did it right here too. He fucked my whole face up. Uh-huh. He was yeah, like, nah. Yeah. And then this is my mom's. Uh huh. Yeah. Like that's my, that's said, my like everything that, that's right there. One right there. That's my everything. You feel me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Man, and I, I, I hate it when, 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 when uh, I, I be running into females and be like, so who's that? Is that your girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got, you know, like, what the fuck? No, it's my daughter, my fucking mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and, and you probably ain't really got to answer that shit no more. Like yeah, you saying, yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is my daughter, my mom type of shit. Yeah, everybody knows my daughter. Oh, that's straight. 
That's straight. You ain't got no, you don't got no tattoos. No tap face, not no face my, tattoo. Not on my face and shit, but I, I got I got my daughters on my neck. That's probably shit. Like how many focus. you got? On my kid? Yeah, I got a daughter. She daughter? Uh, she two. She about to be three next year in January. That's just crazy, huh? Hell yeah, man. I was, that's, that's why when I was saying for you when you yeah. got an eight year old, I was telling my lady, see, I was like the fact that we was, we was able to raise a kid till she's two and she's only two. Like that's yeah. it's a lot to take care of kids. Yeah, it is, bro. And I'm a single parent too, and I'm little motherfucker, so it's like. It's, 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 it gets, that's why it gets crazy sometimes. You hell feel me? Yeah. yeah. And so you be having your kids full time. Uh, uh, well, me, 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 and my baby monster. Uh, we, he said my baby monster. <laughs> <laughs> like we cool as fuck, you know. Like, like you know, we 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 got our little fifty fifty type shit, mm-hmm. you know. So I have him a week. She'll have him like a week. Shit like that, mm-hmm. you know. And we're, we're both there, you know. What What's your favorite spot? Because you was talking about a little earlier. What's your favorite spot to eat around San Diego? Eat around San Diego, bro? Fuck, I fuck with everything. I know you want to step out and start doing a little more of that type of thing Yeah, I fuck well. with everything. I mean, uh, I fuck with a lot of mariscos. That's my shit. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my boy, Telaz. I just I was there uh, fucking, what, Friday, Saturday? No, Saturday, I think. We were right there chopping it up, munching out. That fuck is down. Tap in with him. Teoladas. Teoladas or nada. Mm-hmm. I fuck with... Uh, I fuck with the uh, I fuck with a lot of my East Coast fuck. I, I, he like I, I don't want to forget nobody. But you know what? You know what's like, yo? You ain't fucking say my name, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, every hey, day. But you know what though? I'm more like a I'm I, I like to eat at home, bro. I, I like more like home cooked meals, bro. Yeah. You know, like my mom, like she was always there, fucking fucking it up, bro. I know yeah. how to cook too here. You know what I mean? She, I be, she didn't teach me about it. Look at my hand. Yeah. Okay, she added that. She okay, okay, okay. You know. Well, but what's your like now? You even bringing up home cooked meals. What was one of like your favorite home cooked meals that your mom get down for you? Yeah, man, everything, bro. Like, she, you, you'll trip out. It's like the most simplest shit too. That should be more fire, you know. Mm. I like the big plates, you know, like mole, fucking pozole, birria, all that shit, whatever, mm. you know. But I like that level, like that, like that basic shit. You know, mm. they call it like the poor, humble people food, whatever. But mm. that should be fire. Like in frijoladas, it's just a fucking tortilla with fucking beans in it, sour cream and cheese and all that. You know, you, you feel like, me? Like, you know, what you, know what you know, some yeah. some fucking homemade salsa. You know. Yeah. It's fuck, I fuck, man, that's for real. So, is there anywhere that you can compare to your mom's home cooked food? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody says no, but no, for you personally. Oh, for me, not nah, fuck no. My mom don't shit. Mm. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my mama. Hey, there we go. That's it. She gonna definitely get to see that. <laughs> hey, your mom is yes, she's sir. Reina, right? Yeah, Reina. Yeah, I mean, I know yeah. with the Reina. Yeah, yeah, I got wrote the R and shit. You no know, respect to mom type yes, of deal. Sir. Some people spell it different though. They play my mom's is with the Y. Some. I guess the other ones are with the eye and shit like mm-hmm. that, you know? With you moving forward, I know it's like, but as far as Dago, because I know I, we was even talking about earlier how hard it is for really somebody to push Dago up, but you've been getting support from Dago or to more so you're getting support outside of Dago. Uh, right now, I'll say Dago's like kind of fucking with me, you feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah, Dago's fucking with me tough right now. LA for sure shows love, you know, but I'm I'm not really out. I'm not really back and forth right now. Mm-hmm. But when I do go up there, fuck, that should be popping, bro. Mm-hmm. They show love. Yep. That's what you said. You said when you do go out there to LA, yeah, it's tough. Like right now, like some uh, they just hit me up too. Like, hey, come through. When are you coming? Mm-hmm. But I like to get shit together, you know, like kill two birds in one stone type shit. That that uh, you was also talking about that Cali. Oh one. yeah, that's my boy. That's somebody here in Dago. Yes, sir, you should do a podcast with that guy, man. Is that's that do we got a bear on it? Uh, nah, nah, it's just. Fucking Caliware, Caliware, San Diego. There you go. Put yes, him out sir. there. Fucking, uh, yeah, man, you should go with him. I know that guy said he started at the Swami type shit, you know? Mm. Now he has his own shit. The you know, Caliware moving now. big, yeah. Yo, so you, we was also talking about how how you haven't done any, like, social media, like, as far as being on podcasts and shit like that. Yeah, I haven't, bro. And that's crazy, because, like, you known out here in San Diego. What even made you, like, say, fuck it now? I'm going I'm to try this. Cause I'm on the same page as you. You trying to come up? I'm trying to come up too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to do. Definitely. See, I it. fuck with you. I put you know. Easy as that. I appreciate you even like I was even telling you even coming on this motherfucker because you didn't have to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's other people who hit you up and ask you to do this, this, that, and the third. You yeah, have yeah. to come on this. Now shit. I'm having a good time too. You feel me? Definitely. You feel me? We're gonna do some more shit for sure. Oh, you know, we might have to do something at the beach. The summer coming the strip up. Strip club, bro. Definitely. You know, 100. percent <laughs> There's something I was trying to that I but now I've been thinking how I want to add like when I'm when I'm closing this shit up I think I'm gonna start asking everybody this question you actually the first one I'm about to start ask this shit with why do you think at at all and this kind of gonna sound kind of funny I might have to clean this shit up the next time yeah. out of all the sperms why is it that you made it so why you think you was here on this earth damn and the little sperm too yeah fuck at a because you know like whatever they say is millions of whatever happens sperms they get to that one egg. 
you the one that made it. Why you think you was placed here on this earth? Because it's a little Fuji, bro. You feel me? Yeah, but like, like what, what is it you think you was placed here to do type of deal? Oh, to do? Yeah. Like my purpose type shit? Exactly. Damn, bro. I don't even make it happen, I guess, you know? Which is, I don't know. I really don't know. That's a hard one. Nah. I ask, my, I ask myself that shit every day, you feel me? Like, where the fuck am I going to go with everything that's going on around me right and now? That's real. And, that's, you know that, I mean? and that's why today I felt like I'm... Like, am I here to do this shit? To do this forever? Or, right. You know what I mean? That's why, That's why. like, in my mind, I told myself I'm starting to incorporate that because that's a good question to ask anybody because I'm sure yeah. you question yourself that every day. See, I ask, my, yeah, I ask myself that every fucking day. Mm-hmm. Shit, I just know. I, I just hope whatever the whatever my fucking purpose is, I, I hope I reach it. You feel me? Definitely. Yeah, uh, shit. My purpose is to wake up every fucking morning, be it for my kids, and reach my motherfucking purpose. You feel me? I appreciate that. That's definitely because, like, that was like how you were saying right now. You had you had no idea, but now you're thinking about. It, it's like, oh shit. Yeah. Now, now I think. Now I do. This is what yeah. it's supposed and to be. And I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna be on the car ride home, and I'm gonna be like, damn, I should have said that. You know, something's hey. gonna pop up on my shit. Like, fuck. You know I mean? Hey, but and if that is the case, at least this was something that joggled your mind. Cause like yeah. you said, you be thinking, thinking about that shit every day. So now, if this was the case and you did think about it later, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I, it's you still thought about it, and now you do have an answer for yeah, that. I shit. do be getting stuck. You know, I be home alone sometimes. I be just chilling. Anyway, like I said, I just snap. I, I just I don't know why I snap, and I'm like, man, what the fuck am I gonna do? You know, like that or, brought or, me. To why am I here? Or, that's real or, shit. Or, or, or what's up tomorrow? You know, like shit, it's just weird, bro. That kind of brought me to my next point. So when you are feeling like kind of, and I always touch on like mental health with people. So it's like when you are feeling down and shit, who are the ones that's there for you and how they get you out of it? No one. It got to be somebody. And, I, and God. So, so, so there's nobody outside of God that you actually be like, yo, tell them, tell them about your problems, X, Y, and Z, what you're going through. And they help you kind of get through that. Shit. There might be somebody that you have, that you open up to, even if it ain't all the way. You want to see? I just got a text right now too, and we're outside. Read it. Don't say names though. Oh, I ain't gonna say no names. You want me to read the bottom one? I've been good. Just wanted to see how your see, and we just so I I gotta read that. I've been good. Just wanted to see how your mentals are doing. Feel so me? this is the one who. And you know what's on. crazy? Yeah. You know what's crazy? Cause I I just met that person like. Like two, three months, bro. And, and, and cool people, you feel me? And for, yeah. for some random, not even my voice sometimes reach yeah. out. You no, know? I love my homies. Uh, no, see, no hard see, feelings. But that's another, that, that's why I, I honestly ask, because that's another part of somebody that some pipe, so a lot of people won't even be able to tap yeah. in with. Yeah. And now you just show, like, that's somebody who. It's crazy, huh? Because we were, we were just right now, too. I yeah. Got, we're outside. See, but that's that's somebody who's been in your life for the two or four months. Yeah. Prior to that, there, there was honestly nobody who was checking on your mental. Yeah, they probably just, kept, they, she probably just caught up caught up on me, you know, like, damn, this guy looks zoned out. This guy's mm-hmm. like, I do be getting in my zone sometimes, I'm like, damn, man, like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> shit, see, no, no, that, and that's crazy. That's why I always like to ask people about their mental health and shit, because that's something I feel is even kind of in a newer age as to what people tapping in with. Because I mean, I'm sure being raised in the 1900s and shit like yeah. that, you were supposed to be taught like how you're supposed to be a man in X, Y, and Z, and you probably even feel a little more at yeah. how you got to show I got to be a man because people gonna test me and shit like that. So it was like to basically hide them emotions and shit. Yeah, yeah. Who is it that for you to, like, to tap in with? Like, that type Bro, shit. that's... Oh, fuck, man. Uh, but I ain't gonna force one answer. There really I, ain't I have, nobody. I, 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 there, there's nobody, bro. But I mean, there, there's, there's there's a few a few homies you see, you know, maybe like it comes out to like top the topic, you know, we're chilling and somebody brings this up and it's like, oh shit, you know what? I'm going through that same shit too. Yeah. It's just random, I guess. But I don't go out for looking, looking for help either, you know? See, uh, why, and why is that though? How, how come... Uh, why ain't, there ain't nobody you feel comfortable to reach out to and be like, yo... I've been thinking Because I don't think I'm fucked up like all there. I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm all fucked up in the head. You feel me? You ain't got to just You know, it's just though. fucking live. You know, I'm just like, here and there, you get your fucking moments. You feel me? Hell yeah. You know, and then and, and I just snap out of it and like, what the fuck? I was just tripping. You know? mm. Hey, God, you know, fuck. Thank you for another day. I'm going to go to sleep. Wake me up tomorrow. You feel me? Mm. I'll see you tomorrow. So Damn. it's more so like, like you said, there ain't really nobody you tap into with that. And you just got to yeah. tell yourself, you know, just distracts I, my, I just distract myself and mm-hmm. try to snap out of it. You know, if I have my kids, I'll be like, fuck it. I ain't thinking about shit. I'll just. Do my thing with my kids and mm. boom, you know, because at the next, like at the end of the day, you're just like, damn, I'm tripping over nothing. Like, See, what the, but, you know, but sometimes, why the fuck am I putting myself down? Why the fuck am I having mental? Like, why, why, why is my, you know, what I, mean? like, I don't. I feel you, not, but sometimes it don't be nothing. Sometimes mm. it do be something, and you haven't been able to talk to somebody about that shit. 
Yeah. And it's still just lingering and lingering. I don't trust nobody. See, and that's that, <laughs> that, that at the end of the day what it boiled down to was like this is now as yeah. to why I don't reach out. See, and like, tell like, like, that shit. like. Nah. See, like how you say, you know, back in the days and shit, you know, like you, you had to be a man. Yeah. You know, bite your tongue and shit, you know, type shit. Yeah. Nowadays, nowadays it's like, oh, talk to somebody, let it out, blah, blah, blah. And then you do that and shit, you trust people, and then everybody knows your shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So that's what kind of got you to where you are now. You put you put that out there to, for somebody. Now, see, I, I, see I'm a, I got it from my mama. Here, here comes my mom again. Yeah. Like, I've always seen her, like, go through shit, you feel me? And she never, like, she just always wrote, wrote it out, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like, she just... She just kept a G, and so I, I, I just, I, I, we don't have that. Me and my mom don't have that like tough, tough, you know, mm. bond. But I just seen, I just, I just see how you she see moves. A lot of yourself in her. Yeah, like she's a strong lady. You feel me? Right. She, she just do her and fuck it, write it out, you know. Mm. And that's, I think that's where I get it from. I don't know. Definitely. <laughs> nah, man, and I'm glad. And it's you... crazy because I got it from my mom. You know, most people would be like, right. most fools would be like, oh, my dad or my right. brother. My uncle, nah, nah, I got it from my mama, you feel me? Because your mom's a strong woman, Hell so yeah. she taught you even more so, like, yeah, yeah. this is how to See, and it. I never had my biological dad, mm-hmm. so I had a stepdad. He took me at the age of one, but when I turned six, uh, uh, you know, I found out he wasn't my dad, mm-hmm. but he's still here until this day, too. So that kind of helps me out, too, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I don't talk to him about personal shit. He doesn't know what's going on or anything, but I got that, like, I, I could call him and be like, hey, dude, like, you want to go eat? Mm-hmm. Or, hey, bro, pull up. You know, you want to want to drink a beer, <laughs> you yeah. know, shit like that. He's there, and then my kids call him grandpa too, and everything. So, I, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I got those two people, you know, solid as fuck, and Definitely. keeps me going. You feel me? See, and I and I'm never the one to push nothing on you, but like you were just saying, there's got to be somebody you're gonna have to be able to reach out to because if you try to handle, and I mean, obviously, you know, you always got God and you know whatever you want to call higher power, whatever, whoever out there watching, whatever they want to call it, there's somebody out there higher power. Probably my kids, you know, but they're too young. I can't talk shit. Right. I can't, I can't talk my shit with them. You feel me? But shit, when they're older, I'm pretty sure I, I'm. I think. I think. Yeah, I, I feel like on some real shit, it's gonna yeah. benefit you. I even yeah. feel like there's probably not even many people you get to talk to like this on that level. Yeah, dog. And yeah. the fact that you feel comfortable doing it on my on this yeah. podcast is like that's that's major for me that I that somebody's able to be vulnerable and open yeah, up like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, you know. But just a, it's a little, it's a little. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because, like you said, like a little sneak peek of you, my life. You don't trust a lot of people. <laughs> The fuck no. What what even got you in that mindset of not trusting them as far I mean other than being fucked over so many times that you just can't never do it no more. Fuck, I don't know. See if you're getting me with those fucking big ass answers. I can't. I don't even. Shit, I don't know, dog. Mm-hmm. Just like everybody else, you know. We have our shit happens, you know. Yeah. And then and you just like fuck that. So you you so basically you just been through a lot of shit. That made you just like I can't really trust nobody no more. I, don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I have, a, I have good, I have good people, you know, behind me. Yeah, I fuck with them tough. Yeah, you know, I got my day ones. Yeah, but I'm not saying I don't trust them. You know, I'm take that shit wrong. You know what I mean? To all the homies and shit, but mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. I just stick to myself. Yeah, just do me. Yeah. That's it. I see. <laughs> no, I, I feel it like, but like, I, I don't even just... know how to really answer this shit. Like, you know what I mean? But, no, you are. This, this is but, you answering it. There ain't no <laughs> fucking written script for you or nothing like this. Yeah. Is what how you feel and how it's gonna come out for yeah. you. Yeah. I fuck with people. Mm-hmm. I just, I just stick to myself. Yeah. Do me. Keep pushing it. Well, there definitely and keep that shit pushing like you've been yeah. doing. But like I said, at some point you are gonna have to be talking to somebody to get that shit out. Oh, like, like how Shorty just hit you up and asked you about that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that deal is, if you gonna really be like, oh no, I'm good. Or you gonna really tell her like, yo, I've been going through boo boo X Y and Z. Are you gonna put that trust in her, even though you just oh, met no. her? That's what I'm, I'm saying. I tell her my shit, but I mean, like I said, like I could hang out with that person that mm-hmm. checked up on me, and I'll just be like, fuck it, you know, I'm doing good. And then mm-hmm. if it comes out, then it comes out. Right. Just little, little, like I said, little, little, little things, you know, little parts. I'm not gonna yeah. be like, hey, well, I'm going through this shit. Hey, uh, uh, this shit happened to me. Or hey. see, I feel like you, you saying that, you feeling like you putting that on somebody's plate is a bad thing. Not really, cause I don't like like see, I don't even ask them what's going on. I don't even see. I don't even be checking up myself on people either, you know. And is that because <laughs> I don't like, be like I, I be fucking up too. I don't be calling my people. Hey, are you good, bro? Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But so I don't know. I just don't get in people's shit, and I, I don't want to hear people's shit, and I don't want people to hear my shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean?
me. Like you just said, so it's just more so you keep to yourself. Yeah. But I mean, if it happens, then fuck. Fuck, they're lucky as fuck, motherfucker. They're about to, they're about to make a movie out of this shit. See, then I, feel, <laughs> I, I, feel, then I feel like that much lucky because, you know, you even gave that portion as to, like, what you was feeling anyway. So, I mean, yeah. definitely. Nah, I just, I just, I just, I just want to have people on my good side. I want to be on people's good side and people fucking know me how they meet, when they meet me, you know? Definitely. How when they met me. And it was good to fucking meet you, man. You feel me? Just that's it. You know, if you like me, you like me. Yeah, I like you back and I'll fuck with you, you know? Well, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and with that being said, it's been another episode of the Big Umbrella Podcast and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Peace out. Well, let's get some tacos, nigga. Can we really get some tacos? <laughs> you trying to get some tacos? Let's get some tacos, nigga.